A prophetic sign just took place in Mecca, in Islam's most holiest site, where they turn and pray to every day. This happened at the end of their most holiest month, Ramadan, and an infestation, a plague level event of weird insects came and descended upon Mecca at the end of Ramadan. If you don't know, Ramadan is a month of fasting, prayer, and reflection for the community of Muslims around the world. They abstain from eating, drinking, smoking, anything that's impure or excessive from dawn until sunset. And it's one of the five pillars of Islam. Of course, at this time at Islam's most holiest site in the entire world, at Mecca, where they've got the Kaaba, there's plenty of people there to celebrate and partake in Ramadan. Mecca is in the western region of Saudi Arabia. It's Islam's most holiest site. It's got the Kaaba there, the classic symbol everyone knows of the big black square that all the Muslims walk around in a circle. It's a square stone building in the center of the great mosque there at Mecca. The site is the most holiest site to Muslims, and it's towards this which they must face when they're praying. It stands on the site of a pre-Islamic shrine said to have been built by Abraham, and a sacred black stone is set in the southeastern corner. The black stone is of some controversy. It's said to have been placed there by Muhammad, but the theory has been debated. Some claim that this is actually a meteorite. Now in Islam, as well as in Christianity, of course, in Judaism, and also in Buddhism, plague infestation levels of bugs, of locust type bugs or grasshoppers, whatever it may be, is a sign of judgment from God normally. We know this most classically because of the plagues of Egypt, the 10 plagues that God brought upon the Pharaoh through Moses right before the exodus out of Egypt towards Israel. In Exodus 10, 3 through 4, it mentions this plague of the locusts, and it says, So Moses and Aaron came into Pharaoh and said to him, Thus says the Lord God of the Hebrews, How long will you refuse to humble yourself before me? Let my people go that they may serve me. Or else if you refuse to let my people go, Behold, tomorrow I will bring locusts into your territory. This is very similar and why it seems like it's a prophetic sign of some sort of what just took place in Mecca with a swarm of locust type bugs, weird insects infesting the site there, Islam's most holiest site. In 2 Chronicles 7.13, it says, When I shut up heaven and there is no rain or command the locusts to devour the land, or send pestilence among my people. Now, this isn't the first time that Mecca has been infested with some type of bug plague level event. Just a couple of years ago in 2019, a locusts actually infested the site. Here's a video from January 14th, 2019. It says a swarm of what appears to be locusts descend in a flurry on the Grand Mosque in Mecca, Saudi Arabia. The authorities say 138 responders were dispatched to eliminate the plague. And just like in 2 Chronicles there, it talks about God controlling the locusts and that he also controls the rain. And on April 10th, 2023 at Mecca, same site there, they experienced extreme heavy rainfall while all the pilgrims were there for Ramadan. Another verse where we're told in the Bible that God controls the animals is in Job 12, 7 through 10. It says, but now ask the beasts and they will teach you and the birds of the air and they will tell you or speak to the earth and it will teach you and the fish of the sea will explain to you who among all these does not know that the hand of the Lord has done this, in whose hand is the life of every living thing and the breath of all mankind. God, of course, is the one who's in control of all of these events that take place, especially the natural events. So when we see such things as like locust infestations or bug infestations, it should really make one question what's going on at that site. Now, interesting to note about that holy site there at Mecca and the Kaaba, that according to Hadith Islam traditions passed down what they believe to be inspiration from God, it says that that site will be destroyed once in the last of days towards the day of resurrection, as they call it. And it says that until the Gog and Magog are let past their barrier, it's reported that someone from Ethiopia will come in, will destroy Kaaba and take its treasure. And this is what Islam teaches. They believe Jesus, of course, to only be a prophet. They don't believe that he is the son of God, but they say that Jesus will lead an army of seven and 800 Muslim soldiers and march to fight this person. And while they're marching towards this person, what they say, Allah will send a breeze from the direction of Yemen which will take the soul of every faithful believer. This is like similar to the rapture, it sounds like. 
only of the worst of the people will be left and they will begin to copulate like animals at that time the hour of resurrection will be very close here once again you can see just like time and time again like i like demonstrated in many videos that the quran has very similar teachings to the bible the bible was written hundreds and thousands of years before the quran and so we have these strange instances where we have connections in the quran that sounds like it's just taken from a biblical story like gog and magog or jesus coming back and then all these souls being taken it's just you can really tell that it's like something from the biblical text moved in a weird way and then written in the quran and probably the last infestation of locust upon the earth the most terrible one probably of all time that will come this may not even be the type of locust that we're thinking of i believe it's not but this is in revelation 9 and it says and he opened the bottomless pit and smoke arose out of the pit like smoke of a great furnace so the sun and the air were darkened because of the smoke of the pit then out of the smoke locusts came upon the earth and to them was given power as the scorpions of the earth have power they were commanded not to harm the grass of the earth or any green thing or any tree but only those men who do not have the seal of god on their foreheads so that will definitely be a swarm of locusts that will be a sign of judgment just like they really all are but according to islam even though in islam locusts are a sign of judgment what do they make of this because of course they're not going to say that allah sent a sign of judgment on mecca so they tie it into some weird way and from what i saw from what i the research i did that they claim it to almost be like a miracle of some sort and they refer to back when mecca was closed down during the pandemic that there was a moment where there was like a flock of birds flying around inside of mecca at the kaaba there and they were saying it's like a, a miracle from god or from allah and that's the only thing I saw. They just referenced that and I don't know, I don't make the connection because if that same swarm that descended upon Mecca descended upon Jerusalem, these same Islamic sources would be saying that this was a sign of judgment from Allah on Jerusalem. But then when it happens at Mecca, their most holiest site, they really have no explanation and they just refer to birds flying around saying it's like sometimes Allah sends miracles through animals. But it doesn't make sense. Ramadan, your most holiest month, at mecca your most holiest site and you get an infestation of locusts sounds more like a sign of judgment that's the way that i would look at it first john chapter 2 verse 22 says who is a liar but he who denies that jesus is the christ he is antichrist who denies the father and the son and if you deny the son jesus you do not have the father also john 14 6 jesus said to him i am the way the truth and the life no one comes to the father except through me the Bible is the true word of God. It was written first. It's got proven prophecies. It's got all the stories that are in the Quran written first in the Bible. So I would just really say it would be prudent and smart for people who trust in the Quran verses and what the Quran has to say to go back to the original first text, what the Bible has to say, read it, compare it, and see what you find. Because I think in that you will absolutely find the truth. It's written first. It's provably written by God because it's got proven prophecies. And so that is where the truth fully lies. And if you accept Jesus Christ, the son of God, then you have the way, the truth of the life. You also have God also, you have the father also, and that's the only way to get through God. So accept Jesus Christ and these signs, while well, these prophetic signs are going around all along us, going on all around us. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Is this a prophetic sign? What do you make of it? Thanks for watching and God bless.